this is part nine, the last video in the series. So in the last one, I was just explaining that we will turn our trade simulator off and we will turn our live trader on. So we would just tick enabled and load trade history. That shows us that if we go into our trading tab on the left hand side, our open orders are going to be over here. Okay, so it is busy doing simulated trading. It hasn't actually placed a trade yet. If I go and look at my portfolio, it's going to show me the approximate portfolio that we put in. That was the simulated amount of sort of 700 Rand in Bitcoin and 700 Rand in UST Tether. The reason that it hasn't done any trades is because I would need to trade between USD Tether and Bitcoin, whereas I've only set up the profiles for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I could add a new trading pair over here. It takes me over here. And I could go and say Bitcoin to, what was it, USDT. If I want to go and do that, and I can say save and restart. This is uh, not really what we're doing because I said I don't really want to trade between Bitcoin and USDT. But this is at least going to give you an idea of how it does its trades. It will at least have an open trade um, or two on the system. But basically, once you have seen that the bot is doing some kind of profit over an extended period of time, uh, maybe you've done some testing. If you want to do back testing, that basically takes a look at historical data. I'll probably do another, another series in the, in the coming weeks. Um, that basically looks at historical data, says if I were to have traded this kind of strategy over yesterday, um, how would my profit be? So, okay, let's go and have a look at our trading now that we've restarted our bot. Uh, okay, still, it hasn't made any, it hasn't got any open trades, um, but we do have Bitcoin and Ethereum. There we go. So we've got our ETH BTC and our Bitcoin USD Tether. Those are our two trading pairs, as we would call them. They're currently in a neutral state because there's no open trades. Okay, so... All we would need to do is, let's go do that again. Portfolio. Okay, so that's my Bitcoin, my USDT, sorry. Profile. And then we go down to, just wait, give it a second to load up. So this is where we can change between our profile settings and I go to my trading and I would enable live trader and I would load my trade history okay both of those are then going to load up and it's going to um, start trading live but we want to run our bot um, in simulated trading for a while see how it does and everything is pretty much set up from there um yeah thanks very much for watching the series and i hope you learned something cheers